Hey guys, this is Donish from jobskillshare.org. I'm happy because it's Friday, so don't mind me doing these things, okay? All right, so I'm gonna make part two of the vlog I made before. You know, it was uh, the vlog about, you know, your first IT job, uh, and it was advice for people who are, who are trying to get into IT. So, Today, I'm going to talk about, someone actually uh, emailed me in it, and they said that, what do you mean by apply? How can we apply and give us some tips that, what will make, uh, you know, what steps to take for applying and what will help us? So, here are the tips. First, you need to make a LinkedIn account, okay? LinkedIn is, is kind of, I already talked about this before too. LinkedIn is important. It's, it's a professional sh social media type, so, so, social site, sorry. It's like, you know, Facebook. But it's for people who work, like, you know, for professional people. Like, it's a working, uh, you know, social communication between each other. Companies have their own LinkedIn accounts. So when they have jobs, they usually their recruiters or their HR people can directly contact you through LinkedIn. And it happened to me. I even got an offer uh, for a job. So just they'll just shoot you an email. You know, like hey, you know, you look good with or you live around here, and I think you're perfectly fit if you're thinking to move moving up. I mean, it's a normal thing. It's not a bad thing. People, people, you know, they want to they want to look for people. So you have to, you can also look the same way. You can approach, you can go and comment on the job. Uh, you know, when they have any jobs, they, their HR people post out there. You just comment, hey, check my resume or check my profile. And then they'll comment, they'll basically message you. So that's why I say LinkedIn account is important. And the way we did it for you guys, because some people might not have too many uh, LinkedIn connections. So what I did, we created a LinkedIn group. So if you go to... I will actually post a link uh, in the description also. You go to the group, we have 500 plus users. And one thing that I tell people that if you are in the part of the group, someone else can do a connection with you and please accept it because this is why you're helping the other people to get them more connections. So then you guys can help each other out. So we have a group, LinkedIn. Other thing is this that um, you really need to work on like you know your resume as a part of like you know taking these courses because when you take these courses and some even free courses outside there are well-known courses or uh, Microsoft Virtual Academy also gives you a certificate even for free so you take these courses and you get all that stuff on your resume that's another part that you are gonna have a good resume now you're gonna have something on your resume, you have a lot of knowledge in your head, you have all these terms in your head in interview, and you have tools like LinkedIn and stuff like that, so you will get more chances. Uh, and also the internship that we are providing, uh, connections that you are going to get, you are basically building yourself for that first interview, okay? Now, phase two. Let's say you did all this and you got the interview call and they talk about things so prepare yourself for if and i'm talking about entry level job over here you're trying to get into it so prepare yourself for ticketing system terminology like you know they'll ask you do you know how to assign a ticket can you give us an example how do you assign so basically you talk about yes i know about a ticketing system i have uh, i've actually taken a course about ticketing system i know how to assign it to people blah 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 and you also have uh, you also need to know about active directory uh, then you can talk about they'll say can you tell me something about active directory what kind of things you will be doing so you say oh i can add a user in active directory i can delete a user sometimes i will get a calls about resetting passwords that i can do through active directory so you don't you you're like you're talking like you know this stuff pretty good and then you go to more of a detailed stuff uh, by like you know imaging computer imaging is a term and see like I'm using terms imaging I'm not saying copying computers or like just doesn't make sense so you gotta like you know talk about imaging computers and things like that will make you look good in your interview uh, so let's say you got a job now what's the next step so the first day and the first week of your job, 
try to understand the whole uh, infrastructure of the company like you know what are they using are they Microsoft it's like 80 90 percent of Microsoft computers or are they Mac related are they Linux so then you move your uh, you know focus for the next uh, uh, three, uh, two three weeks you need to focus on the people over there who are the what, what is this organization about who are the people and kind of like understand kind of like knowing them uh, by names and their titles because you're gonna get calls hey I'm having a problem blah 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 and now the first thing you need to do is to look at their directories like people directories where they have a portal system they have a site and they listed all these people and then basically you look who is who who works under who and where they sit that's actually a really important part right there because if you don't know um, that's the most confusing thing like you know people call you and you don't know where they sit you don't know who they are things like that so you need to first thing I would say open up their directory like you know their portal where they have all the people that they listed that these are our workers uh, this is the direct director and these are the people that work under him and they sit right here so when you get a call you're looking at actually at the directory and you're like oh this person sits over here and he's talking about this issue and now you have five to a uh, few for a few minutes to kind of like you know think over because if you're new to IT you might not know how to fix these, these things right away so that's the best thing what you can do is to when you get a call you make sure you have Google open and then go to Google go to Spiceworks or some uh, Microsoft links that I shared in my uh, course go to these 